We got some new Chapter 3 information. We had also some brand new Chapter 3 gameplay trailer 2 information. Some brand new merch and possibly the confirmation that Huggy is going to be in Chapter 3 and that he's possibly still alive or dead. We don't know and that's what we're going to find out in today's video. Okay, so first of all, last time, last Friday, I did a video and we're all talking about the predictions that maybe on January 12th something might happen since Project Playtime and Poppy Playtime Chapter 1 and also the gameplay trailer and also the whole delay all happened on the 12th of December so that's why we all expected something to happen so guess guess what mob entertainment decided to actually go post saying happy January 12th here is a trailer and all they did was just like retweet requote whatever you call it now the same exact trailer they posted a month ago this was of course all just a ruse and all just a prank just to get us all hyped up for a brand new trailer because we all kept hyping ourselves up we had no confirmation anything was happening today. It was all just speculation. And of course, YouTuber Nyes decided to go and, you know, pick in on this by, of course, saying that something's going to happen today and maybe something might happen tomorrow. Then he goes and Rick rolls us all. You, we will not forget this, Nyes. But if we thought that was it for trailer news, no, no, no. We have actually just got confirmation that the trailer is in the final stages. When someone asked, saying, I feel like it, trailer is done, question mark. Tyler actually went and replied, no. The trailer is in the final stages of Touch Up, though. We do know this is going to be the final, the big, the longest trailer I think we have gotten for gameplay. This is the one that was meant to happen, the one with the cinematic, the gameplay, everything you need to know before you play. Also, the date at the end is going to be in this trailer. I talked about all that in my other video, but yes, it's great to see that the trailer is not done yet. So who knows? Maybe the trailer was meant to come out today, but it sadly got delayed because like, as you can see, they're still finishing it up. So the trailer is not done yet. So it looks like no YouTuber actually got the trailer in yet. But who knows? I definitely do feel like the trailer is going to come out next week, like everyone's been saying. But who knows? Only time will be able to tell. Also, moving on to some more somewhat chapter three versus trailer analysis or talking about because it's kind of both. Uh, James actually went in a reply was saying, will Catnap have little fur like the teaser trailer? With James actually saying, yeah, both Catnap and Dog Day will have fur in the final game because they didn't in the trailer because the very first gameplay trailer, Catnap and Dog Day did not have fur. So it looks like they're going to be having a little fur kind of like you guys could see in this photo of you know this is him getting the chapter three photo of catnap i don't know how i forgot that so of course the next trailer will have fur and of course the actual game will have fur so you guys can see that's probably some of the little touch up that they delayed the game for just to make it look spicy good and also more information about chapter three one ask will this chapter be emotional or have any scary such intense chases Ambi, I say Ambi because that's the name, <laughs> my bad, says yes, so it looks like chapter 3 will have, of course, some intense chasings, making us all sweat, and also some emotional moments, I'm betting it has to do something with Kissy Missy, I have a feeling because everybody is going to get emotional for Kissy Missy, if she dies, I'm going to riot. And again, for more chapter 3 news, also just to let you guys know, thanks to Mercury and Huggy Wuggy on Twitter, that's where I got half this Discord uh, photo, so... You know, huge shout out to them. Thank you. This video would not be possible without them. We were given a Chapter 3 scary rating of how scary Chapter 3 is. And we got a rating of 9 out of 10. That is definitely big because yes, it's not a 10 out of 10. I don't think, I think scariness depends on a person depending on the scare rating of how easily you get scared. So let's say you're a Markiplier and you played almost every horror game imaginable. You might not be as scared versus a kid that hardly played any horror games. He's gonna be a little bit more scared at simple things so of course this is just a rating but i do think this is pretty close and accurate to how the game's truly gonna be scary i definitely do think it's gonna be pretty scary from what everybody's been saying so it's great to see chapter 3 is gonna have some real fear factor into it we also got more news on a new mystery character that had never been revealed before we do know that this mystery character is a she and we do know that the character they've been working on they put lots of love into it and lots of work and passion into it so the concept phase is is the whole different modeling and texturing side. That's, of course, James' favorite character that sadly has not been revealed yet. And we know that she is not a smiling critic, so we know it's a girl. Also, I think Zach also said that his favorite character or a character that we're going to hate is not a smiling critter and it's actually a girl, meaning it might be Kissy Missy, but that's like some old news I don't want to bring into this all, but yeah. Now for the last and final bit of Chapter 3 news, because, well, this is not Chapter 3 news, this is more like 
different things in chapter three. After this, we're gonna be hopping on to the huggy news. But as you guys can see here, Zach Bledger responded when someone asked this earlier, but will Catnap be silent? Like, you know, will silent, will he have a voice and like that? And as you guys can see, Zach replied with a cover of mouse emoji. And of course I got this from Sheep's video. And he even said in his video that He's overanalyzing an emoji, which of course is funny because this emoji can easily just mean two things. One, Zach doesn't want to spill the beans and he has to cover his own mouth from saying anything. Or that catnap is not going to speak because the hand's over the mouth. So this could mean two things, like he can't say anything because of NDA. Or he doesn't want to spoil anything. Or that catnap is actually not going to speak and be kind of like a menacing watching you from the corners and stalking you type situation, you know. But now moving on to the huggy news. Yes, there's been a lot of huggy news. It's the reason why he's the biggest part of the thumbnails like everybody loves huggy am i right because someone said uh, james said huggy reference and then wolfie said so mean then he, james said i mean when he fell in chapter when he falling chapter three and chapter one then he says he hit the pipes just to letting know guys he said fall every time the developers mention huggy wuggies quote unquote death in chapter one they keep referring to it as the fall they don't want to refer to it as the death so of course this is just another hint that Huggy might still be alive. Also, this is a great point to mention, you guys. Please subscribe. It definitely helps out this channel. I'm legally required to ask you to. You'll make my day by subscribing, and I hope I made your days by sharing you some news. If you want to stay tuned for more poppy videos like this, this is definitely the channel for you, even indie horror. But without further ado, let's go back to the video. Until someone asked, is Huggy alive? And then got a reply from Amber saying, dead. As you guys can see, this it can mean so many things. I have a feeling that that this is of course not gonna mean that Huggy's dead. She might be saying dead because her expression's dead. Like, oh man, I'm dead. You know, like when you hear a funny joke and you say, I'm dead, you know, that type of joke. What if, what if she just said dead as, you know, maybe she's dead tired of answering these calls and maybe she actually just meant dead like Huggy's dead. You could take this many different ways as being a joke, her being tired of hearing if Huggy's alive or not, or if She's actually saying Huggy's dead. When also asks, is Huggy really dead? She said, you will see in chapter three. Now this alone, 100% in my opinion, in my own book, that Huggy Wuggy's in chapter three, that it confirms that he's in chapter three. We don't know if he's dead. We don't know if he's alive, but at least we do know we're gonna get some closer in chapter three because it says you're, you're seeing chapter three. If Huggy wasn't in chapter three, why does she say that? Meaning, is he, is he really dead? We'll find out in chapter three, meaning when we play chapter three, we're either gonna find his dead body or his live body, or maybe blood on the floor with fur showing that he walked away, showing that he's still alive. So this could mean multiple different things, but it definitely confirms that Huggy Wuggy will have something to do with chapter three, and we're gonna find out if he's really alive or dead. So this is some great news for all us Huggy fans. You know, we can all celebrate knowing that Chapter 3 is going to answer some wanted questions, but is he dead or alive? Maybe this next one might help with that a little bit. Ben actually posted an hour or two ago by the time I'm actually recording and, you know, editing this. He said, yeah, yeah, Huggy was confirmed to be dead by Amber. Then Ben replies with, of course, this gif saying, oh, Frodo, chuckles. Are you sure? Question mark. At this point in time, I think the developers is going back and forth and just making us all want to be on edge of is Huggy alive? Is Huggy dead? We literally do not know and would not know because they keep on teasing that he's dead and alive. We literally have no entire idea at this point. They keep saying, are you sure? Is he dead? Is he alive? So yes, it looks like all the devs are definitely going back and forth saying that Huggy's dead or Huggy's alive. Is like, Are you sure that he's dead? This is definitely just funny. And I gotta say, I do feel like he's alive, but we already know he's in the trailer. We already know he's in the meeting chapter 3. We do not know if he's gonna be alive or not. Now moving on to some Huggy, uh, not Huggy, but moving on to the merch side, YouTube's released two new Shoulder Rider plushies with the weird caption, Huggy and Kissy are ready to ride you. YouTube's, you knew what you're doing. Of course, showing these two new plush riders, they would be retailing for around 30 bucks. You could put them on your shoulder, you could ride them, or I mean, they could ride you, um, however you like it. And yeah, as you guys can see, this is Huggy and Kissy. Huggy looks pretty cool, got the 3D lips. I love the indents to make it look like he has lots of fur. It looks pretty good, I do love it all. Don't know if they have Velcro on each of the hands. They probably don't, but if they do, that'd be pretty good. The U2's eyes definitely fits in. I don't think it's awkward. It gets weird. It's definitely okay. It doesn't ruin the plush in any way. And also, uh, Epic Drops released these new shirts being the most magical place. Come visit 
The most fat magical toy factory on Earth, showing Huggy and Kissy, says just for two bucks. Definitely some lore. With also different colors. And this is the back of the shirt, and the front of the shirt gives this Playtime Co. As you guys can see, also here we got a grab pack uh, shirt that just has the grab pack design. It says pull trigger to fire. Yada yada yada. It's just this. And also we got the last new shirt being Huggy Wuggy Club, showing Huggy Wuggy squeezing a little Kissy Missy plush, saying he'll squeeze you until you pop. So this is some great merch, you know, top, top tier. Anyways, this is video. Let me know in the comments below what you guys do think. Please subscribe because make my day and I cannot stop asking because I'm legally required to. And yes, you guys can let me know in the comments below what you guys do think about all the new news and merch and all this new confirmation. So subscribe and stay tuned for more news and don't forget to check out this video for more info.